a solar update because a viewer requested an update. Um, we have got, so for those of you who haven't already, go back and watch the videos of this solar system that's been put in. Solar system. Battery packs. That is as high as it will go. Can't get more than that on that stack that's allowed. And as you can see in the other videos, I then started to add on these this other stack. So this one is wired to that one. This one's wired to that one. What we've had is an issue with this battery fighting this battery and this battery fighting this battery and huge losses back and forward as they start to discharge and charge each other. Um, and so there's a constant battle going on. That has now been fixed by William from the Fox Forum on Facebook group. And he has come down and he has sorted this out. This is not his wiring, by the way. This was done by the original installer and these are just additional cables I just added because we need to extend them out. A uh, bit complex, but we move. Well, it's not complex, but we move this from there. We swap these around and it just meant that we need a longer runner cable. So they're connected here to here. So simples. Um, so that's all that is. It's a bit untidy at the moment. CT cable and stuff like that needs just tied it up. But otherwise, ignoring the... Uh, all the wires. This now does not fight this at all. It runs perfectly. You get one running from 100% down to 10, and then the other one then starts running down to 10. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So there's been big losses there back and forth since installation essentially of this second pack. So the original, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the original amount of packs I had was substantially less than this. I built this up to the full seven. And then I'm going to build this pack up as well to the full seven. And so today I'm actually going to install two more, which then maxes out the system. There is no more I can add on to this now. I'm getting the full amount I possibly can from this system without adding another inverter or swapping out and getting a K1 inverter from Fox and then starting again, essentially. Um, but which I'm very unlikely to do in any time soon. So I'm going to get those installed now. Brand new pack. You pack. So two more to go on that's eight kilowatt hours added onto the system. So that's the BMS off and these are the slaves. So I'm just gonna stack two more on there and then put the BMS back on top, reconnect earth cable. And then that's gonna be maximizing the same height as that one. That is it. So now we have two stacks, simple as that, that are stacked up the same height giving me 56 kilowatt hours of battery storage for the house. So yeah, I'll run it a few cycles and see exactly where we're at over the next couple of days. But otherwise, to all intents and purposes, a quick update on this. Um, last year, you may remember a complete disaster in terms of the cold weather. What I found this year was this stack actually performed fine. It operated normally, it wasn't just capped and a uh, uh, one kilowatt input from the grid it charged normally this one didn't uh, and apparently speaking to William that will be improved actually one of the benefits is because there's an extra two on top it's not affected so much by the temperature in terms of the voltage increases I think it was something along those lines there's some reason may have got it slightly wrong but there's some reason why that actually now they should perform the same which then if that's the same as how this performed in this winter no issues with this one, so I should actually be able to get full draw from the grid to charge them up during the very, very cold periods in the year. Uh, production has been terrible over these winter months. We're starting to get lighter, longer days now. And so like today, I produce, I don't know what, 13 kilowatts so far, kilowatt hours of power, um, which has been going to these batteries. So that's really, really good. I've been charging the cars up and stuff. So today's a good day, but we've had that horrible th two, three-ish months of just barely anything during the um, during the day and made worse by, like I say, these fighting each other. That is now sorted out. This is massively more efficient than it ever has been and it's working correctly. So you have a very depressed three months of the year. The rest of the time, solar's amazing kind of thing. And so you have the three months going, oh my goodness, hardly producing anything. The, the brilliant thing is with these house batteries, irrelevant of solar, just remember that I'm charging these and some of you will be able to get cheaper rates than this. 
at nine, just over almost 10p. Say 10p, just below 10p per kilowatt hour um, off peak for four hours. And now with this capacity, I can charge both these to full on that off peak. So even if I didn't have solar, this definitely now is enough to run the whole house and st put some charge into our EVs. Not much, not that you want to be doing that because they charge off grid as well. This is enough to run the whole thing. So essentially, if I had no solar, I'd say 12 months a year, I have a flat rate of just over nine pence per kilowatt hour, which is substantially less. But of course, I got the additional bonus of any solar that I can put into this or put into the cars or put into the immersion heater. That's a bonus on top of that. So the batteries on their, on their own is a bonus. Um, obviously, if you just relied on batteries, the capital outlay that you put in would take a lot longer to get back. But the payback period with a 10 kilowatt system on top of the house, 10. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I should have then that and the batteries pumping in this year should be spot on. Um, and I'll be able to not export so much to the grid because I can now store more. So that should be pretty good as well. Not that we're using huge amounts in summer anyway. Um, but I can actually store more. And the summer periods last year, I was actually topping up the batteries, charging the cars, which we've now got one extra EV. So we've got three EVs now. So hopefully this will be, this will be less of a problem. I was charging the cars, heating the water up, charging the batteries, and then I was just exporting to the grid because we're producing so much in summer. Um, that is less likely now. Three EVs and bigger packs. So this summer, hopefully, we'll be able to just store and then consume more of our electric and summer this period will be basically all we won't be charging so the off peak is only used in the dark winter months that setting is just turned off or it was last year in summer I just turned it off because you knew the following day was going to be a good day um, and so you just run this whole house without charging off peak so zero essentially is what i'm saying on your electric bill um during the light long days so that's a little update. How are we getting on? The total absolute headache of the whole thing has finally, what are we now? I don't know what we are, how far on, 18 months on, has been resolved just a couple of days ago. William coming down, sorting this out. They're not fighting each other. The battery packs have now been there, equalised. I can't get any bigger. This system is complete. Um, and that's it. It's fully built up. I can't get any better than I've got now. The only thing I could do, of course, is extend out the solar to have more. I could potentially have more on the roof. So I could increase there. That's a possibility to harness more in the darker, shorter days um, from a bigger solar system. So essentially, you know, if I could double it rather than getting the two kilowatts at the end of the day, um, two kilowatt hours, just having four, for example, which would make quite a bit of difference. Uh, but for now, that is not in the plan. Maybe the future at the moment. I'll see how we get on. I'll report back probably a couple of months time when we're more in the summer getting into the summer months anyway, longer days, and just, just come back to you on that one. But that's a quick update for you all.